Hey everybody, how you all doing on today? I pray you guys are doing well on today. I pray that you are having a, a, a great Tuesday. Um, so far, um, it's almost 12 o'clock where I'm at, 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Yes, it's the afternoon, since you can see the light this afternoon, okay? But 12 o'clock in the afternoon, and yes, it's me. It's me with a different hairstyle, with a new hairstyle, I guess, to you guys, but it's old to me. You know, I just I haven't switched up my hair since I've been doing uh, this channel. You know, I guess I think it's been about three months now since I've been doing the channel, and I haven't really like switched up my hair. Um, but yeah, it's me, and you know, this is not why I'm warning about me, but it's about. Um, I want to show you guys this here. Um, again, I pray that you guys are having a uh, blessed day so far. And I did a short on this uh, this uh, basket, and I just actually wanted to show you guys what was in here. I really don't want to take it apart. I don't want to take it apart. You know, I feel like everything is situated the way I want it. But I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys what I actually got in here. And um, you know, I may not pull the whole thing apart, but I just want to show you guys real quickly um, what I have in here. Well, this will be a short video, and um, just some little things that I picked up at um, Dollar Tree while I was out. Okay, so anyway, this is the basket. I don't think I want to pull everything out, but I don't know. Um, you know, there was a video I did when I went to Dollar General a few months ago, and I picked up this really cute thing. Okay, I had a crown fall. Let's put it over here. Um, there was a, a cute dolly that was, or a cute, you know, whatever it is you want to consider it a doll. Um, but she has a blanket rolled up, and, you know, she's a little ballerina. And I don't know, maybe I will take her out. I don't know. She has a little cute pink dress on. And I fell in love with this doll. It was $12.99. I think it was $12.99. $12. $12 at Dollar Journal for, for, the, um, for the doll. But anyway, this was in here. Um, this is considering... Uh, as far as the doll is concerned. Um, uh, let me, oh, I don't want to really take her out. Um, let me see, okay. Let me start from the back. Let me start from the back. This here um, is a, just one of the uh, Dollar Tree boxes that um, I have put some treats in. This is what I usually do for, um, you know, when I do boxes like this, I put like a little snacks in here. I have a, um, an apple juice, a fruit roll up. I brought all of these little snacks from Dollar Tree. You know, the little um, fruit snacks. And then I have the, uh, the little moon, mini moon pies. And I was looking for one snack, uh, one other snack that um, I usually put in here. I haven't found that yet. Actually, it's two things. So anyway, um, this is what this box is. And I put it in a decorative box open over the theme to, you know, this box here. Um, I have this uh, shower or bath, uh, this bath wash um, with the frozen um, uh, picture on the front there, as you can see. Um, I have three books that I got from Dollar Tree. I got the three books here, the Dollar Tree here. And I have um, two puzzles, two puzzles here. And this is a play set for a little girl. And I have um, these feathers that I um, got from Dollar Tree. I got these from Dollar Tree. And I guess, you know, you can, I have another one on the hair, but they're just like a little string of feathers that the girl probably can wear around her neck, you know, you know, just in contempt play. Um, and I just decided to go around the basket with that. Um, let me see if I can see. And this is the, the doll. I really love this. She has a little pink dress on. Okay. And this is a blanket that she can take out. And so I'll here. Now, in the um, the shorts, I was asking you guys if you could hear. I wasn't sure if you were able to hear what I was saying, but um, I wanted to know because I, I think I already came up with my answer. My um, my answer. I think I'm going to leave the crown on, 
because I, I really like, I didn't want to hide her hair, but you can actually see the hair through the crown. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just leave the crown on her, and this will be the full display of the basket. So anyway, this is the the girl, the little girl play basket that I, I made here. The uh, basket, as as many of us may know, it came from the Dollar Tree. And I think I like everything from Dollar Tree, except for except for the um, the dollar shop. All right. So you know, this is my little setup here for that. And I want to show you some things that I just picked up from Dollar Tree. Nothing to shred again or anything like that. But um, what I got. You know what I really love that I got from Dollar Tree yesterday because I, I'm finalizing my confetti basket. You know, and sometimes sometimes you have to do on the hunt for a lot of stuff. You know, with stuff, just things like that. But I got these sports. These are so pretty. I don't usually go in, but Dollar Tree is really doing their thing right here with these. I was looking to see if they had the knives, but I couldn't find the knives. So these are really, really nice. They're really nice. And I'm going to use, uh oh, wait a minute, something's falling here. I'm going to use this or these in my chachari baskets. So I, I actually went there um, looking for something else, and I spotted these. And I don't usually go. Unless I'm having like a party or something, a get together, and I need something in this apartment, I don't always go in looking for, you know, I, I pass by them and sometimes I might scan over things, but I've never seen these before. And these are really, really nice. They're really, really high end. And these are really nice. So I got a couple of packs of these, you know, again for my chest cutter basket that I'm doing. I need, um, I need something to call. So I've got a couple of packs of those. And I also picked up, you know, they have, you know, the little cookie um, pens. You know, I got some of these for my, um, for Christmas, you know, to use in my Christmas baskets. You know, I, I like the ones that they have at Walmart's better. Um, but these are nice. These are just nice for nice little add-ins to your baskets. And they are four ounces. Okay, so I got some, some of those. And I got me some of these to go inside of my um, inside of my um, Christmas cups or you know, um, you know, my little little designs for Christmas using mugs and you can stick some of these cookies in there. You know, they're red and flat, you know, which goes into the Christmas thing. So I picked up a pack of these. And I love these books here. Every time I see these, I pick me up a few of them. They are really, really nice, you know, to put into some, you know, whatever type of basket you want to do, but they have some amazing pictures in here, and it just looks like a really high-end book, so I got that, got that, that was the only one, I was hunting around for some more, but that was the only one, they got so many books, oh, they got, they got a lot of Christmas things that for um, um, books now, you know, um, in the Dollar Street, they got some, in you know, my Dollar Street, they got some amazing books over there, so I got me some more children's books as well, and I picked up and I've never seen these type of ice baskets, these ice, um, these ice, what do you call it? ice baskets. I've never seen the ones with the handles on them for some reason. I don't know if I ever saw them and just didn't pay no tips to them. But these are really nice. They got me a few of these, and these are really nice for the basket designs, you know, for whatever occasion, you know, they're clear, you know, it doesn't matter what uh, occasion you use them for. You know, you just use your own imagination and do what you need to do with them. So I got me a few of those. And I got, what else did I get? Oh, I saw these. I think I'm gonna try, I'm not a coffee drinker. I do like coffee, but I have to watch coffee because caffeine gives my heart palpitations. I used to be able to drink with no problem, but I don't know, because I got older. You know, my birthday coming up this, this in, in the week, couple of weeks, about to turn 59, and not that that's old. 
Let's do these things. You know, people are living a lot longer. They're doing some amazing things with their lives, you know. But I have to watch the cat theme now because it gets, it makes my heart go pitter patter. Okay, so I saw these. These is pumpkin spice, and I like to see where things came from. You know, they come from a different. You know, I just try to watch where I get things from. This is. It looks like it's made in the U.S. and and I want to try one for myself. I want to see what this tastes like. But this is coffee, pumpkin spice, which is really nice going into the to the next season. You know, so these are nice to add into. You know, some fall baskets. You know, and I got me a couple of these. I only bought two because I want to make sure that I like them before I actually buy some more. And I'm gonna try one for myself. I'll let you guys know how how I'll, what my what my likings is with this. But yes, I bought these. All right, and I also oh I just oh okay, and I just bought me some more. Um, I don't think that's different. I've never seen the pear cider in my store before. Got the pear cider, and I also for a bunch of the the apple cranberry. I've never seen the apple cranberry. I always see the apple grape or the apple cider. I think is what it is. But so these are nice, really nice other options besides the two that I normally see. So this is it. This is my video, shortest video I think I made since I've been on my channel, and. Um, Again, um, oh, wait a minute. I think I have um, scarves in my collection, but I have the kind of scarves. I bought this scarf from Bible Tree. Let me untie it. Or when I had the, um, <laughs> the feathers, you know, up here for the cashier to ring up feathers were just flying everywhere. They were just everywhere. I was picking them all up, like, give me my feathers. I paid for them. So let me, let me put every last single one of the feathers in my bag, you know, so. Anyhow, let me get back to the scarf. But I bought one of these, okay? And I'm just going to show you, show in a video how I actually made a bow from out of this. Um, I put in my community page how I made a bow from one of my Mother's Day baskets uh, a few years ago. And I really like that bow. And I always said I was going to go back to using it, but I always seem to forget that I had that other option. But I'm just going to do a little tutorial on how I did um, a bow using a Dollar Tree scarf, okay? So um, this is my video. And um, I pray that you guys have a blessed day. And listen, I just want to say this was on my spirit uh, a little earlier today. You know, when you are, um, <clears throat> you know, dealing, you know, with some things, you know, we, we have to learn to, I know everybody, you know, everybody don't know the Lord. Everybody, I can speak for myself. I'm a testimony about the, 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 the way God that can just step into your situation and just change everything. A lot of times we'd be fighting up against things, we'd be going, you know, getting mad and getting frustrated. And sometimes, you know, you know, it happens, you know, even with me get mad and get frustrated, but I have to reel myself back in, pull yourself back in. Because at the end of the day we gotta let God take care of those things that only He can take care of. You know, a lot of times we be doing things and, you know, get all tired out, you know, at the end of the day our minds is all, you know, which way you know it's just it's just turning and turning with bad thoughts but when things happen in our life try God try God if you don't know God try God and let him just work only what he can work out and on our end we have to learn to pull ourselves fast when we find ourselves just going out and just getting all out of character getting all out of you know uh, 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 of just our, our minds, you know, to to want to fight back and push back in the physical. We got to know that sometimes things are, are spiritual. There are spiritual things. There are spiritual forces that come against us. You know, there are things that the enemy does. And if we don't understand the difference between fighting things in our own self, our flesh, and, and, and realizing that there is a spiritual realm there is things that the enemy does and we can't see the enemy we can't see but we can see uh, uh when we get to understand who he is and how things uh happen in our life we got to say you know what this this is the enemy right here and i will not fight up against the enemy unless god gives me specific instructions to do xyz i am going to Leave this in the hands of God, because God is our vindicator. God said, um, "Vengeance is mine." 
I shall repay. God will take care of whatever it is that we're that we're dealing with and that we're going through. And we just got to learn to, uh, how to leave things in the hand of God. So this is just my little short message that was with my spirit this morning. And I just want to leave that for somebody who may need it. I encourage myself with it because, you know, a lot of times you're going to be going through uh, uh, little uh, battles. And we got to know that the battle is always in our minds. It starts in the mind first. But how we act is it's totally up to us. You know, either we're going to act out or we're going to just leave and let God take care of that situation. So God bless you. Um, have a blessed uh, day. And until the next video, you all be blessed. Okay. Bye-bye.